15 Scandalous Stories About King Charles III's Hidden Mistresses Long before assuming the throne after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles was seen as a romantic playboy, having famously carried on an affair with Camilla Parker Bowles during his marriage to Princess Diana. But Camilla wasn't the only woman Charles got intimate with behind closed doors. Over his many years as the Prince of Wales, Charles surrounded himself with an array of beautiful, powerful, and intelligent women, some of whom became his closest confidants and secret lovers. From top celebrities to his wife's own friends and relatives, no one was off limits for the charming prince's affections. So who were the women who threatened to derail Charles' path to the crown? Number 1. Camilla Parker Bowles The most infamous of Charles' affairs, his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles has been the subject of intense public scrutiny and controversy for decades. The two first met in the early 1970s and quickly developed a close bond, despite both being married to others at the time. Their affair was an open secret within their social circles, but it wasn't until 1992 that the world learned the shocking truth through the Camillagate scandal. In a series of leaked intimate phone conversations, Charles and Camilla's affectionate pet names and explicit discussions were laid bare for all to hear, causing a media frenzy and public outrage. Despite the backlash, Charles and Camilla's love endured and they eventually married in 2005, after his divorce from Princess Diana. Today, Camilla is the queen consort, a role that was once unthinkable given the scandals of the past. Number 2. Kanga Tryon Lady Dale Kanga Tryon was a close friend of Charles and rumored to be his mistress during the 1970s and 1980s. Kanga, known for her wild lifestyle and bohemian spirit, was a frequent companion of the prince, accompanying him on numerous social events and vacations. Their relationship was the subject of intense speculation, with many believing that Charles and Kanga were more than just friends. Kanga's tragic life story, which included struggles with addiction and mental health issues, ended with her untimely death in 1997 at the age of 49. Her passing only added to the mystery surrounding her connection with the royal, leaving many to wonder about the true nature of their relationship. Number 3. Lucia Santa Cruz Lucia Santa Cruz was one of Charles' first serious girlfriends and is credited with introducing him to his future wife, Camilla Parker Bowles. The two met in the early 1970s and quickly struck up a romance, with Lucia becoming a fixture in Charles' life. However, their relationship was short-lived and it was during this time that Charles met Camilla, who would go on to become his most famous mistress. While Lucia's role in Charles' life was relatively brief, her introduction of Camilla to the prince would have far-reaching consequences, forever intertwining their stories in the annals of royal history. Number 4. Anna Wallace Known as Whiplash Wallace for her fiery temper, Anna Wallace was briefly engaged to King Charles in the early 1980s. Their relationship was seen as a potential avenue for Charles to finally settle down and fulfill his royal duties, but it was not meant to be. According to reports, Charles' lingering feelings for Camilla Parker Bowles ultimately led to the demise of his engagement to Anna. The breakup was a highly publicized affair, with rumors swirling about the true reasons behind the split. Anna's connection to Charles would forever cement her place in the chronicles of his romantic escapades, serving as a reminder of the complications and turmoil that plagued his love life. Number 5. Davina Sheffield Davina Sheffield was another of Charles' girlfriends who was rumored to be more than just a friend during their relationship. Like many of Charles' romantic entanglements, his relationship with Davina was said to have been hindered by his ongoing bond with Camilla Parker Bowles. Davina, a member of the aristocracy, moved in the same social circles as Charles and Camilla, adding fuel to the fire of speculation surrounding their dynamic. While the true nature of Davina's relationship with Charles may never be fully known, her name remains intertwined with the scandals and rumors that plagued the prince's personal life for decades. Number 6. Lady Jane Wellesley Lady Jane Wellesley's connection to King Charles in the early 1970s was more than just a fleeting romance. The daughter of the 8th Duke of Wellington, Jane moved in the same aristocratic circles as the young prince, and their paths crossed frequently at social events and gatherings. According to reports, 
Jane and Charles became quite close during this time, with their relationship blossoming into something more intimate than mere friendship. While the details of their alleged affair remain shrouded in mystery, it was rumored that Jane played a significant role in Charles' life during those formative years. Some even speculated that she may have been one of the first women to truly capture the prince's heart before his fateful meeting with Camilla Parker Bowles. However, like many of Charles' early romantic entanglements, his relationship with Jane was not built to last. Their affair, if there truly was one, fizzled out as quickly as it had begun, leaving Jane as another name on the ever-growing list of women linked to the prince's complicated love life. Number 7. Princess Diana's Awareness Princess Diana's confrontation with Camilla Parker Bowles at that infamous party in 1989 was not the only time she publicly acknowledged her husband's infidelity. Throughout their tumultuous marriage, Diana made numerous veiled and not-so-veiled references to Charles' affair, painting a picture of a woman deeply wounded by her husband's betrayal. In one particularly poignant interview, Diana famously stated, There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. This statement, though indirect, left no doubt about her awareness of Camilla's presence in her marriage and the emotional toll it took on her. Diana's public acknowledgement of the affair was a bold move, one that defied the traditional royal code of silence and exposed the cracks in the monarchy's carefully curated image. Her willingness to speak out about her pain and betrayal only added to her popularity with the public, who saw her as a sympathetic figure caught in the crosshairs of a scandalous affair. Number 8. Tampon Gate The Tampon Gate scandal, which involved leak intimate conversations between Charles and Camilla, was perhaps the most shocking and salacious episode in the prince's long history of scandals. The tapes, which surfaced in the early 1990s, revealed a level of intimacy and explicit detail that left the public reeling. In one particularly notorious exchange, Charles was recorded expressing his desire to be reincarnated as a tampon so he could remain close to Camilla at all times. This bizarre and deeply personal revelation was met with a mixture of disgust, amusement, and utter disbelief as the public struggled to comprehend the depths of Charles' obsession with his mistress. The tampon gate tapes were a turning point in the public's perception of Charles, as they laid bare the sordid details of his affair in a way that could no longer be ignored or swept under the rug. The scandal was a PR nightmare for the royal family, and it would take years of damage control and image rehabilitation to begin to repair the trust that had been shattered. Number 9. Susan George British actress Susan George's alleged affair with King Charles in the late 1970s was a classic example of the prince's penchant for mixing with glamorous figures from the entertainment industry. As a successful and beautiful actress, Susan was the epitome of the Hollywood starlet, a far cry from the aristocratic circles in which Charles typically moved. According to reports, Charles and Susan first crossed paths through their mutual involvement in charitable organizations and events related to the arts. Their connection was said to be immediate, with the prince reportedly being smitten by Susan's charm and beauty. While the details of their alleged relationship remained sketchy, it was rumored that Charles and Susan carried on a discreet affair for a brief period, indulging in secret rendezvous and intimate encounters away from the prying eyes of the public and the media. Susan's name was added to the growing list of Charles' alleged mistresses, further cementing his reputation as a man who struggled to remain faithful even in the early years of his marriage to Princess Diana. Though their affair was likely short-lived, Susan's connection to the prince added another layer of intrigue and scandal to his already complicated romantic history. Number 10. Caroline Longman Caroline Longman's association with King Charles was more than just a passing fancy or fleeting romance. As a member of the aristocracy, Caroline moved in the same rarefied social circles as the prince, and their paths were destined to cross on numerous occasions. According to reports, Caroline and Charles first became acquainted in the late 1970s, when the prince was still a young bachelor navigating the complexities of royal life and the expectations placed upon him. Their connection was said to have blossomed into something more intimate, with rumors swirling about the nature of their relationship. While the details of their alleged affair have been kept tightly under wraps, it was widely speculated that Caroline played a significant role in Charles' life during this period, 
Some even suggested that she may have been one of the few women who truly captured the prince's heart before his fateful meeting with Camilla Parker Bowles. Regardless of the true extent of their relationship, Caroline's name has been forever linked to Charles' romantic exploits, serving as a reminder of the numerous women who were rumored to have caught the prince's eye over the years. Her association with Charles adds yet another layer to the complex tapestry of scandals and rumors that have defined his love life for decades. Number 11. Penny Juner's Claims Royal biographer Penny Juner, who has extensively covered the lives of the British royal family, has made bold claims about the extent of Charles' romantic entanglements. In her book, The Firm, Juner alleges that Charles had numerous other relationships and affairs beyond his well-known dalliances with Camilla Parker Bowles and the handful of other women whose names have been made public. According to Juner, the prince was a prolific womanizer, with a string of mistresses and casual flings that have remained largely under wraps. Her assertions paint a picture of a man who was seemingly insatiable in his pursuit of romantic conquests, despite being married to the beloved Princess Diana. Juner's claims have been met with skepticism by some and intrigue by others, reigniting the public's fascination with the scandalous side of Charles' personal life. Whether or not her allegations are entirely accurate, they serve as a reminder of the enduring allure and mystique surrounding the king's romantic history. Number 12. Sarah Spencer In a twist of fate, Charles is said to have briefly dated Diana's older sister, Sarah Spencer, before he became interested in and ultimately married Diana herself. The connection between Charles and Sarah was reportedly short-lived, but it adds an intriguing layer to the already complicated web of relationships and connections that defined the prince's romantic life. Sarah's presence in Charles' orbit not only highlights the aristocratic circles in which he moved, but also foreshadows the eventual union between Charles and her younger sister Diana, a marriage that would become one of the most famous and tumultuous in modern history. While Sarah's name may be less well-known than those of Charles' other alleged mistresses, her brief dalliance with the prince serves as a reminder of the intricate and often incestuous nature of royal romances. Number 13. Jealousy and Rage The depth of Princess Diana's anguish and jealousy over Charles' affair with Camilla was laid bare in a haunting anecdote shared by the late princess herself. According to Diana, Charles would give Camilla a bracelet with the initials F and G, which stood for their pet names for each other, Fred and Gladys. This intimate gesture, a symbol of the bond between Charles and his mistress, was a source of deep pain and rage for Diana who felt betrayed and humiliated by her husband's infidelity. The story highlights the emotional turmoil that Diana endured, living in the shadows of her husband's ongoing affair and struggling to maintain her dignity in the face of such blatant disregard for her feelings. Diana's willingness to share this painful detail speaks to her courage in confronting the harsh realities of her marriage and her determination to shed light on the truth, no matter how painful it may have been. Number 14 public backlash. The revelations surrounding Charles' affair with Camilla Parker Bowles and his subsequent divorce from Princess Diana led to a significant public backlash against the prince, with many questioning his suitability as the future king. The British public, who had long adored Diana and sympathized with her plight, turned on Charles, viewing him as a callous philanderer who had betrayed his wife and his duties as a royal. The outcry was deafening with protesters taking to the streets and calling for Charles to abdicate the throne. The scandal tarnished the monarchy's reputation and cast doubt on the future of the institution itself. It was a tumultuous period that tested the resilience of the royal family and forced Charles to confront the consequences of his actions in the most public and humiliating way possible. Number 15. Rehabilitation Efforts in the years since his marriage to Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005, King Charles has worked tirelessly to rehabilitate his public image and regain the trust and respect of the British people. Through a combination of charitable work, public appearances, and a concerted effort to present a more stable and mature persona, Charles has sought to move past the scandals of his earlier years and position himself as a worthy and capable monarch. However, the shadow of his past indiscretion still loom large, with many questioning whether the king can truly overcome the damage caused by his affairs and the fallout from his divorce from Diana. As Charles ascends to the throne, 
he faces the daunting task of not only leading a nation, but also convincing his subjects that he's learned from his mistakes and is worthy of their loyalty and devotion. And there you have it, folks. From the infamous Camilla Gate tapes to the shocking tampon gate revelations, we've explored the sordid details of Charles' complicated romantic life, exposing the depths of his obsession with Camilla Parker Bowles and the numerous other women who were rumored to have caught his eye over the years. So let's hear your thoughts on these scandalous stories. Were you aware of the extent of Charles' affairs and mistresses? Do you think he's truly moved past these scandals and redeemed himself in the eyes of the public? Or do these tales of infidelity and betrayal forever tarnish his reputation? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting video content.